this is Wolo bringing to you the weather report like right from right from Manitoba I'm just joking we've had a very um, win a very bad winter storm today today is the first uh, winter storm we are having in Manitoba the first winter storm happened in Alberta and Saskatchewan and then now Manitoba is experiencing their own winter storm and you can see that the road is very the road is very slippery everywhere is white um, yeah so one one thing about uh, the winter storm in Manitoba is that when it happens there are lots of power outages yes there are power outages so when you feel that you come abroad they don't take light they light during winter storm there are power outages sometimes but they are quick to fix the power outages anyway and then secondly the roads are very very slippery you find lots of vehicles just you know veering off the road dashing going to the dish and all that and so this is when a lot of people lose their vehicles during winter is when a lot of accidents happen on the highway because the roads are slippery normally in manitoba as from november you're supposed to put on your winter tires you also have what you call all season tires so you don't use the normal tires during winter because it doesn't have grip on the vehicle so if you cannot afford a winter tire you have to use an all season tire and all season tire is manageable you can still drive with it but winter tires have more grip um, on the vehicle, uh, sorry, more grip on the road when it is slippery and icy compared to um, all season tires and the normal tires. So you don't use normal tires during winter. Then number two is the weather gets cold. So the weather will start getting cold as from now. Already it started getting cold, but it start dropping. Um, and so if you are the type of person that don't like cold, don't come to Canada. <laughs> you don't come to Canada at all. Or if you come to Canada, you go to Vancouver. The Vancouver area, um, the cold in Vancouver is not as much as the one in Manitoba, um, Saskatchewan, and Alberta. And then, thirdly, you have to dress properly in this area. So while we are experiencing cold, Funny enough, today is zero degrees in Manitoba, but in Ontario, it's actually 17 degrees. So Ontario is still warm compared to Manitoba. And then we experience this kind of weather. You can see how the roads are. Let me just show you. This is how the roads are. And this is how we drive. You have to drive very very slow during winter and uh, be very careful because if you have an accident it's going to have, it's going to cause a demerit on your driver's license if you have any form of accident and it results to fatality if someone dies and you are still a permanent resident you will be deported you will serve a jail time and then you'll be deported to your home country so you also have to be very very careful when you're driving during winter Try as much as possible to put on winter tires. If you don't want to put on winter tires, you can use the all-season tires. And um, have a very good car. Yes, a very good vehicle in Manitoba is, it will help you a lot because when the winters go very bad and very cold, um, the liquids in the vehicles kind of freeze. So you need a very good car that can withstand the harsh winters we have in Manitoba. So I am now your weather girl for today and I am bringing the weather report to you live direct from Manitoba. This is the first winter, sorry, this is the first winter storm we are having in Manitoba and I am actually on my way, jeez, I am actually on my way to work and one semi truck just splashed, serious, I don't know, you can see how the weather is. If you cannot stand the cold, don't come to Manitoba. But if you can stand the cold, you can come to Manitoba. If you don't want to come to Manitoba, you can go to the most expensive province in Canada, which is British Columbia. British Columbia, they don't really have winters and snows like we do. Uh, they have so much rain during winter season, which is not as bad as us. But Manitoba is more or less 
very affordable for new immigrants and that's why a lot of people still come down to Manitoba so we don't mind we don't mind the weather we can stay in this condition for eight months so this is October and it will snow until April yes we usually get snow until April May and then from there the weather now picks up and we just have four months of warm hot summer I would I say four months I'll just say two months between July August and September that's when we have a hot warm summer and um, yeah that's it so this is the information I want to share today and I hope you've learned something from uh, me concerning living in Manitoba for those who want to come to Manitoba um, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye